Well, hello everyone and welcome back here to Layers of Fear. Possibly the most cursed game I've ever played. We've added some more to the painting. It's sort of looking half pheasant, half eviscerated dog at the moment. I, I hope it's going to improve. Because now, it's time for form to emerge. Let's move on. Ooh, no corridor today. I don't think they want us going that way. Let's not go that way, eh? Yep, it's locked. Oh, it looks like the rooms are going to stay the same. We're probably going to hit the same rooms again and again by the looks of this. But the contents change. Haha. <laughs> The jump scares change, and it looks like there's only one way we can go this time, so let's go that way, shall we? Uh, back to the piano. His wife was a pianist, a famous pianist apparently, who burned... Okay. There's a door. What is the door? Oh, it's those doors. Okay. We're not going past that now. About a boy who wakes up in a cave. He finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually he winds up at a small cabin where it turns out he has been a product of his subconscious, brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his father. In the real world he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time, get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and at least would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Coldwell. No longer your good friend. It looks like he's on the outs there. So we're not... The painting, uh, sorry, the painting is not working. The music is not working because of the injuries. This family is not doing well, really, is it? I can get back out this way. And, oh. Haunting mimics knock 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 yeah. haunting mimics knock 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 not gonna let them only clothes left behind okay this guy's not so much gone off the deep end as I'm not entirely certain he has a shallow end anymore mm, rain Okay. This is the first time I've seen an actual ghost in this.
creator's block. Okay. Yeah, creepy. Have that, thank you very much. And now we go this way. I kind of get the feeling that the disintegration of the house is mimicking the disintegration of this guy's mind, his psyche. have changed. Nothing in there. Don't forget June the 9th. What's the odds he forgot? I've held on to a key in this game. I'm starting to worry I've missed something. I'm also starting to worry I'm about to have a heart attack, to be honest with you. Yeah, the key's gone. Unless it was to open that one, I don't know. Alright, here we are, back at the junction. See that? Shame, it looks important. That light's not working. That opens up something. Let's go and look at the other ways. That's blocked. Blind fools, cretins! Oh, it's him. Ugly. 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 You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted, you fucking pleb. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face! Uh -oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to bleep a bit of this. Okay. That's blocked. That's blocked with books, which seems to be a repeating theme in this game. Let's move on. Not going in there. All right. Right. We have here loads of papers, nothing we're interested in. I get the feeling that we should be looking to look at that painting, that, that uh, photograph there, rather. Does that make a difference? Nothing I can touch here. All right, let's move on. Hmm. 
telephone in reverse? Try for luck, and I think we're going to take the uh, the way the phone's ringing as a hint and go around the other way if this doesn't. Okay, I think that's all we're going to get there. Let's move on. Ooh. Dear sir, if I'm to be honest, I cannot say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you previously solicited their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be psychological, but rather purely. Ah. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but seem to be rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, MD. Another quack. Okay. So he wants... He wants a quick fix, and there's a memory around here. There it is. Hello? Hello? Yes, speak. Yes. What? What? What fire? fire. Oh, God. oh, God. Is she... she... Which hospital? Which hospital? I I'm on my way. in there this time. Alright. Doors closed. Ah. Nothing in there. Though. Okay. They're 
being mean now. One last time. Yeah, they're just playing with me. Okay, let's just move on. <laughs> Help but feel the next time. The next time might be different. We've seen that one already. Okay. At last, we have a different direction to go in. Restless memories. Oh dear. Flapping horror, be quiet. Disturbed thoughts. Is there a light switch in here? Yes, there is. Ooh. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Let's move on. Ooh. Something's kicking me back. Probably dealing with his his feelings, his thoughts about his wife here. The pain that he can't. I think I just imagine he could, the problem that he can't fix it is quite terrible for him. Back here. Back here. Which way this time? Going down. Okay, that's not taking us anywhere. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any prudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this, believe it or not. I've gotten clients out of deeper than this, just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal to the court order. The social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage, portray you as a victim of the system, a husband in mourning, a momentarily lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts. No more rambling. Better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your... Oh dear. Abandon hope while you can.
these rooms never seem to be just a way of joining up rooms. Oh, this one of course is. Ratty made me jump there. Seems to be the way to go. Anything on here? No. Sorry, Ratty. Sounded like trouble. That is not a good colour for anything. Here, let's move on. It stopped pouring, it did. No, okay, it's just the sound cut out. All right, Sarah. Oh, no. Silent floaters, they clog the drains. Fur in the water. No baths for me. Uh, please don't tell me that's what happened to his daughter. Hold on a sec. going up or not that's mm. no, not fogging up okay let's get out of here move on. Another one. Uh, is there anything in here? No. What about this one? Okay, this one's locked and there's nothing on the side there. Perhaps we get a key for that one. Body borrowers feeding on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. That's it, let's move on. Just double back and check that door just in case it's unlocked. No, it hasn't. Okay. Feels weird. That 
Why, 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 it's not much better. Let's just push on. The cellars. Not my favourite place. Okay, let's get down here and see what we find. So glad I found the light switches though. Anything in here? Anything in here? Just check the corners here. Just made them rot. Oh, dangling dead, patient, thirsty, furry leeches, afraid to look up. It's more icky than scary, but what have we here? Back to the piano. Things rotting in front of us. A kind of a trick. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Okay. Well, that's the end. Let's just have a quick look around here to see what we've missed. Or indeed, if there's anything new. Too dark to see anything back there. Let's see if we can find a light switch. And I should imagine if we go through that door, we're going to be near the end now. Just check to see if that's looped the place up again, just out of curiosity. There's been a few bits and pieces that I've got from doubling back. No, it's just as bad, isn't it? Okay, let's move on. I think 
we're going to get the next bit of the portrait here. And that will be the end of the episode. Yeah, we're back again. The rain's getting worse. I hate, even now, lost, alone, hopeless. You always will be a grotesque misunderstanding. Finish it. Right, okay, I don't think there's anything new here. Let's add to the portrait, shall we? Starting to look like a person. Though not someone I'd like to meet in the dark alley. Well, that's all for now. Until next week when we ask... What if you fail? But until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Layers of Fear. Thank you. And good night. Well, hello. Damien here. Did you like this? Please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And don't forget to leave a comment. Mm -hmm.